guys, all right, so in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this delicious, yummy gummy material. It's supposed to look like gelatin because that's one of the main ingredients for actually creating a gummy bear. Now this material is gonna work best with this particular object and if you guys check the description, I've actually uh, supplied you with a link to this object that I created with ZBrush, there's a little gummy bear and there's a normal map over here that I've included which, which actually creates the surface imperfection that just adds to the realism. So I hope you guys are ready. Remember this material works best with this particular object. If you're using your own object, you might have to make some tweaks, but the main thing is you'll have all of the uh, properties and everything set up for you. So it'll just be a matter of tweaking uh, some settings. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's get straight into this and start creating our yummy gummy material. All right, so you'll notice in this folder you guys have downloaded, there is a gummy bear OBJ. Go ahead and drag and drop that into Cinema 4D. And these are gonna be my exact import settings so you can pause it and see what I've selected and I'm going to click on OK. There we go. We've got our gummy bear in the scene. I'm going to go ahead and delete this default material. And something else to mention, in the actual thumbnail image I've set up a couple uh, lights in our scene and they play a really important role to make this material shine and to make it look a lot more realistic and accurate. So I'll be showing you how to set up the lighting as well. But anyway, we'll be starting with the material first. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm gonna go and create a octane material. Double click on that, I'm gonna change my material type to specular. All right, so here by roughness, I wanna put my float value on 0.087. So that's gonna add a little bit of roughness on a material, but you can still see that there's a specular highlight over there, uh, which is really important because when we have lighting in our scene, uh, when the light is being bounced off this object, all of those little specular highlights are going to be vi visible on our object as well. Right, so we want to go to normal and we want to load in an image texture, go into the image texture. Now if we go back to our folder over here, you'll see I created a normal map uh, with Substance Designer. Drag and drop that into here and this just adds some imperfection on our material and just pushes it a little bit further to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now we want to change the projection to box. This isn't UV unwrapped but when the texture projection is on box, it just lays out this normal map um, a little bit better. And then here by UV transform for the X, Y, and Z, we want to put that on 0 0.3. Okay. All right, so the next option is going to be transmission. And this one is really important because this controls the overall color of our gummy bear. So we want to load in a gradient, all right? Go into the gradient. Now we're gonna leave all of these settings default, leave it on linear. Now the gradient over here, I'm actually gonna start with a color very similar to apricot for the V value. I'm going to pump that all the way up to 100%. And let's see, I'll go for something like apricot. And then for the second pin over here, I'm going to make this almost like a blend between orange and yellow. All right. And now here by texture, we want to load in a fall off map go into the fall off map and the only setting we are going to adjust here is this fall off skew factor. So I'm going to put that on 2.8. So the fall off skew factor is going to allow this orange on the on the rim of our object to actually be visible. And you can see that actually with, with gummy bears um, that there'll be a contrast between two different colors. We will see the, the areas around the rim of the object tends to be lighter or in this case, let me just go back, it's actually going to be this color, but you, you'll notice that we actually don't see that um, so predominantly on our object over here with the sphere, this material preview, and that's because we need to clamp this value further down. So as soon as I, as soon as I do that, you can see that orange seeping through a lot more predominantly now. So if I go back to this fall off map, if we control the skew factor, if I bump that all the way up, you can see that it gets rid of that. And if I bump it all the way down over here, you can see now the majority of the rim of this uh, material has more orange in it. And then in the center, we've got that apricot. But anyway, I've, I found out that 2.8 uh, works pretty well for setting this up. All right, so that's gonna be the transmission. And now it's time to move on to the medium. All right, so under medium, let's create a scattering medium. Go into the scattering medium. And the only setting we are going to adjust is the density. So I'm gonna put mine on 0 0.67. You can see currently on 100, we basically lost our color. So that density is all the way all the way up. We want to bring that down. Now, what this is basically going to try and do is, if we look at real gummy bears, you, you notice like all of these really dark regions on the gummy bear over here. Basically, these settings tries to mimic that. 
right? So I've, I found out that on 0 0.67, it tends to look pretty good. So that's it. We are actually good to go. This material has officially been set up. So I can go ahead and drag it onto our gummy bear. Uh, but we need to open up our live viewer to actually see what's going on here. All right, so there we go. We've got our material on here. And like I mentioned, the most important thing, one of the most important things is going to be the lighting in our scene as well so that we can see some of those specular highlights on here. But the material itself is officially set up. All right, so it's time to push this further. Let's actually get some lighting into our scene because that's really important right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep my live view over here. All right, so I'm going to create a plane, which is actually going to be my backdrop for our gummy bear. And I'm going to rotate that, just move it back, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm actually going to create another shade over here. Drag and drop that onto my plane, double click, create it as glossy, go to diffuse and just make this a little bit darker and just bump up the roughness. So that's going to be our backdrop. Right, so now, again, one of the most important things is the lighting. Let's go to objects and create an area light. So there's going to be three area lights, a top down and two side lights as well. So this one's going to go right here on top. Let's make sure the light is facing the correct way. Now, if I go ahead and zoom in immediately, you can already see that this material, the shader is really starting to take shape now. So we can see, um, let me just zoom out. There we go. We've got that surface imperfection here for our gummy bear. And we've got those specular highlights seeping in. But we definitely need to adjust some of the light settings. So let me just create the three area, area lights first and I'll go ahead and, and adjust the intensity. So I'm going to press Control C, Control V. Actually, you can name this top light. All right, Control C, Control V. Let's create a light here on the side. All right, so it's kind of like setting up studio lighting. So this is the left light. All right, Control C, Control V. And move this one on the other side. So this is the exact lighting setup I created for my gummy. Now you can see it's really starting to take shape over here. We've got all of these nice specular highlights, but again, we're going to adjust some of the lights intensity until we get this to look correct. Okay. All right. So let's play with the intensity over here for the top light. All right. I'm going to put my power on a value. So I'm going to click on that. Actually go to visibility and just hide it from the camera. So you don't see it in your scene. Go to the light settings here by power. I'm going to put this on 66. Press enter for my left light. All right. I'm going to put this on 66 as well. Make sure I've got left light selected. Camera visibility, turn that off. Put that on 66. And this was supposed to be called right light. All right. Turn off the camera visibility. Okay, and this one is going to be on 6.5. So obviously not as intense as the other lights, uh, but there we go. All right, so the lighting is set up now. Another important um, thing that we need to set up is our camera. So let's do that next. Okay, so I'm going to create a camera, object, octane camera. I'm going to go to my octane camera and make this 50 millimeters. I just find that this particular setting works really well, uh, especially with either portraits or when you're trying to frame something in a scene. Okay, then you want to activate your camera so we can see what's going on. And now go into your Octane camera. You want to go to the camera imager, enable that. Here by response, we want to put this on linear. And now there's some values we need to adjust here. So I'm going to put my exposure on 0.544. 571 press enter and then for my gamma I'm going to put this on 1.714923 and press enter all right so I found that this worked pretty well for me and for my scene okay and if I go to my gummy bear select him you'll see that the pivot points all the way down here if you need to adjust that, just click on this icon and then you can move it back up. 
so it's actually in the correct place when you start moving it but yeah there we go we set up the lighting we set the camera and let's let's keep adjusting this all right so now you can see exactly what I meant by that transmission you can see here with our gummy bear we've got basically we've got our apricot color and then we've got that that like that mix between orange and the yellow seeping through here on the edge of our object and it just really adds to, to the realism in this normal map as well is definitely helping to push it a lot further by having that surface imperfection and you'll see now if I start rotating this now of course it's going to be up to you how you want to go ahead and create your scene but well, there we go you can see we have all of these really really nice uh, specular highlights on here and we can see that really yummy and delicious blend between the apricot and the orange on our gummy bear so you can see that the lighting really really plays an important role as well as the camera settings that camera imager actually helps with color correction now you can see when there's gummy bears that are actually if there's a gummy bear in front of the other one um, or maybe if it starts intersecting a little bit we can see some of those darker areas as well that we see on the other gummy bears in actual real images now of course you can decide how you guys want to go ahead and start posing this it's completely up to you just go ahead and control C control V duplicate that material let's place it on there and then all you have to do is go to transmission and change this to something else so maybe you want a bright yellow and there we go you can see we've already got this color on here maybe you want to go with something crazy maybe you want yellow and, and green mixed together to create some weird um, gummy bear mixture uh, but it really is as simple as that and now we can really see that material starting to shine with everything set up with our lighting and our camera and everything in our scene we've got all those uh, really nice specular highlights on there and of course you can play around uh, with the the light intensity as well if you feel like that isn't intense enough and you want the light in your scene to be more prominent then you can do that as well but uh, this is basically how I've set up this material alright guys so that's going to be the end of the tutorial you officially know how to create your own yummy gummy material and here is that final scene that you guys see in the image I just duplicated a couple of those gummy bears and just created variants of the gummy bear material alright and then of course you can see my lights in my scene you can see uh, some of my area lights the overall size of them is just a little bit bigger uh, to what I created previously in the tutorial but the setup is exactly the same with three different area lights and we've got that backdrop image and uh, yeah that's it guys and that's basically how I created this gummy bear material and that's how I decided to light the scene as well to get all of those specular highlights and I included that normal map just to add some surface imperfection anyway guys thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos and tutorials stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye <laughs>